Uh, today we're going to be reviewing a Nilo with Nanslammer, and uh, so we're going to see what he did wrong here. Um, go back there. Slow pipe being the south, he should just stay on this big ranger. Uh, you can kill the ranger after, you can kill the ranger before clawing. Clawing first is fine, but... Pretty sure he lost text and switching back to piping the ranger. Pull pipe here, it should be ready to chin the next wave. He does chin it into ticks. South first is fine. I prefer east first, but on that barrage here. This is fun. I lose a tick there. Um he should sang the big there. He goes to sang it and then hesitates and gives up. Oh, he's blow piping, he's blow piping, he's blow piping, he's blow and he does the sang and just doesn't sang. Um, so that was a mistake. He definitely should have sang there. Um, and then, does he get his scythe over here? I think he does. Watch the other dots here. Yep, they both got attacked. He just noodled on the aggro. Um, and then here, I'm a little lost. Honestly, I thought he was shit, so I did not think... So, yeah, so here, he should certainly um, leave. So what he's supposed to do here is he kills this ranger, then he's supposed to Sang this major, and then he should leave this big. So he didn't sang that. So you'd blow pipe range, sang mage, blow pipe this range, and then you don't kill the small. If you don't kill the smalls, you don't stall. I tried to scythe here, getting like a second spot on the melee, but didn't kill. But this one spot did kill the oh, so it kind of worked. Um, and then this wave, because he's out of range, he should sang the mage before blow piping. So Sang and then blow pipe, but instead he doesn't sang at all. Um, he should get these ranges here. Okay, I guess the 15, that's fine. And when you get that 15, that's actually when you kill the aggro big. So he should have waited to kill the aggro big after that 15 small. Instead, uh, and then those smalls wouldn't have been alive because those were from the aggro. Um, instead, those smalls are up and stalling the room. Here, you just want to kill the 16s. Um, here, another thing to note is pretty much I just leave 14s. And, like, they just pop before 20 will spawn, usually. I mean, it depends how many stalls you have, but maybe if they're stall, you can't leave them. But anyhow, um, I just leave the 14s, pretty much. So these two 14 mages and the 13 melee are both completely irrelevant and should be entirely ignored. And you can see I do ignore them. Uh, he, on the other hand, mage is one. He should have piped that 18. And here, um, like I said, because they popped, you can actually send one big one big only but usually it should be that 15 because if you've stalled a decent amount of time between 15 i think if it's two stalls one stall you're fine but between 15 and 19 then this will auto pop and it will stall you as it explodes um but if you don't stall then you're fine so he popped a 17 and just one and i think we didn't stall enough so it didn't explode so it exploded here and spawns them way after 20 spawns but um and luckily, I'm able to get some barrages here, so that worked out pretty well. Um, and yeah, so let's see what Nan's doing. Now. So he T-bowed. So after this um, 18, after after you kill this 18 aggro, you really need to try and kill all the other 18 aggros. So 18, 18, 18. Let's see what he does here. 8, blow pipe, blow pipe, blow pipe, blow pipe. Does he get this one? Okay, he gave up on that one. Okay, it does get the does now bow a melee no he just bowed a small so that was not ideal so if you're still blow piping these 18s um i think if you're on tick okay so he killed it the last tick because he was slightly off tick if he had been one tick sooner then he'd be in time to hit this flicker but that's fine there's plenty of small ranges you can just ignore all the bigs um so instead he bowed a small which is not ideal um now he keeps piping spawns but yeah he could have been he takes a head and piped a lot more. And then you should at some point chin these east doubles. Uh, it does chin them there, but yeah, I think he lost two takes, one take running to it. And now he's piping. He does not, he does get that bow off. That's fine bow. Um, sometimes you'll just leave it because sometimes it gets killed by the dins. But yeah, definitely want to bow that one instead of this aggro because this aggro is usually killed by the dins. Uh, decent dins here. Uh, Could have been a little better, but rng and then he does clean up this 21 um this is a quite interesting 
uh, part of the waves. So after you bow that, I think if you don't sell, you have one pipe, and then you're supposed to bow south. Um, so he does one pipe, and he does not bow south. So he wants to, if you bow south, the 23 south, on the first tick, then you're able to get the 23 flickers uh, right as they flick. So instead, he just, he doesn't even get the flickers. Okay, so that's not ideal. Uh, hopefully he does something. Okay, just pipes the 24. Um, you can also bow that 24. Piping is not entirely bad, but makes it a little harder to clean up. And luckily here, I go mask off on the bigs, throw a barrage. That was a bunch of old crabs, but I think it really helped us not stall here because the room is pretty full. Um, and yeah, so now I just get quite a lot of barrages. Um, so that's very nice. Left, bar left click barrage is pogging. And uh, I just keep barraging. And that was a hollow barrage because a 30 spawned and like that. Um, so, uh, let's see what he was doing though. So, pipe, pipe, pipe. Okay, so he shouldn't kill that 23 because it's just all old crab. Pipe the 27. Did he pipe the south flickers? No, he missed. Oh, he did get it. Okay. Got the south flickers. That's fine. And then he probably should have gone for a sang here. Eh, killing the big is fine. Um, okay, sang there. Uh, pipe, pipe. That's fine. Pipe. Um... Now, did he bow that big? Because usually you should just pipe it. Pipe, 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 pipe. Okay, he did bow that. So instead of bowing that big, if you stand on this tile marked right here um, and attack it the last tick before it flicks, you'll get dragged in. And then if you click out just as you get dragged, you can also start on this tile because that works too. But click out, then you click your chins. You can chin these 30s as they flick. Um, so. Maybe I'll send him a clip of that. And so this barrage here, I'm hoping that the aggros like walk together, but I probably should have just sang there uh, because sometimes you can barrage both of them in the middle. And then I got a Giga Scythe um, here. And then, so let's see what he's doing. So pipe, pipe, pipe. And saying, okay, he does not get the 31 flickers. Instead of the 31 flickers, he goes for a sang. So he really should not go over that saying. As soon as this wave spawns, you should go over west, and you can even hit that 31 before it changes to south. But ideally, the biggest deal is you want to make sure you get that north 31. So this right here, set bullet pipe there, and then bullet pipe this as it comes back. And then after bullet piping this 31, you can chin south. He does. Okay, he fails to chin south because oh, he chin south, but not in the clump. Um, and then pipe, pipe, and barrage. I went for the barrage there, knowing that it does null me on a melee that has to die like that. Um, that 32 has to die, but there's two 31 mages. So I was just hoping that he sees that I'm nulled there and goes and melees it. And luckily he does. I get a jumbo site there, and we just have to finish off the swift. And the 30s will auto explode for 328. That's exactly what we get. We get 328, um, and the boss spawns in nine seconds. So all around, not the worst, not the best. Uh, lots to work on, and hopefully he'll make those improvements.